What's good, Dragon Ball Super fans out there? It's your boy Rebel here, back again with another video for you guys. And today we're going to be talking about why does Beerus and Katila have a little rivalry? Why does Katila really hate Beerus? So honestly, it's the simple answer that everybody's putting out there is because of the count and mouse, you know, Tom and Jerry type bullshit. But I feel like it has to go deeper than that. Like, shit, like, it, on the surface, it should be like the, the Tom and Jerry type shit, you know? That would be dope on the surface. But it would be way better if they gave it a deeper meaning. Like, the Beerus do something to him back back in the day? Did he, like, beat him up so bad because, you know, cat versus mouse, you know, shit like that. Did he beat him up so bad? Is, because, is it because Beerus embarrassed him in front of other gods or something? What makes Katila hate Beerus so much? And Beerus could be the type to want to embarrass you. And we know Beerus is very fucking strong. But we don't know how strong Katila is. And if they keep it with the cat and mouse thing, of course, the cat always beats the mouse. So in this situation, Beerus would be stronger than Katila. But when they're going deeper, he has to hold a way harder grudge against Beerus. For him to go out his way to spy on Beerus to see what Beerus is fucking doing. Then to actually steal one of Beerus' fighters. Like, it has to do something. It has has to do something because if it's just cat and mouse if you think about it, if it's just cat and mouse katila would also hate shampa but which we didn't get we didn't hear nothing of we just hear that he hates beerus so it can't just be simply cat and mouse because he has to hate also shampa because they're brothers beerus and shampa are brothers and shampa is another cat and shampa might also be stronger than katila also so there's there's a lot going on. I wish there's a deeper story behind it. I wish there's something deeper behind why Katila hates Beerus so much. There has to be something very deep behind it. And we have to get it explained in one of these episodes where we see Katila actually on screen. It would make sense for them to actually explain that. And it would actually deepen the lore of Dragon Ball Super with the gods. Like the gods actually know each other and they've really interacted with each other a lot. And Katila and Beerus was just one of the interactions they had with interactions that they could show. So let me know what you guys think. Don't just give me a simple answer of, you know, Tom and Jerry, cat and mouse, because the cat and mouse thing does make sense. But then again, it doesn't explain why Katila doesn't hate Ch uh, Champa, which isn't stated. So we don't know if he hates him, but it's not stated that he hates him. And he all, he's probably also spying on him, but. He's spying on every other universe. So let me know what you guys think. Give your, give me your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. We're on a, we're in a roll to 60 subscribers before the tournament power starts. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you guys later. Peace, YouTube.